Have you ever wondered why some people who appear less affluent might actually be on the path to true financial success? It's time to challenge the conventional beliefs and societal stereotypes that equate wealth with flashy displays of material possessions. In this video, we'll dive into the fascinating world of financial teachings and research while examining how popular culture influences our perception of prosperity. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with our latest insights and discoveries. Let's start by addressing the illusion of wealth. Many people are tricked by the illusion of wealth. They believe that owning expensive things like fancy cars, designer clothes, and luxurious houses automatically means someone is wealthy. But this is not always true. Sometimes, these outward displays of wealth are just a facade that hides a person's true financial situation. In fact, some individuals who show off their lavish lifestyle may actually be financially irresponsible and burdened with debt, instead of being genuinely wealthy. Sadly, only a few people grasp this reality. To understand this better, let's delve into the teachings of a groundbreaking book called The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas Stanley and William Danko. It challenges the usual ideas we have about rich people. The book studied a lot of data and found out that most real millionaires actually live quite simple lives. They prefer to be thrifty, make budgets, and invest their money wisely instead of spending it lavishly. This approach helps them build wealth steadily, unlike those who spend everything they earn every month. Dave Ramsey, a financial expert, talks a lot about the difference between being rich and looking rich. He points out that people who only care about showing off their wealth often end up trapped in a cycle of buying things they can't afford, getting into debt, and feeling stressed about money. On the other hand, truly wealthy individuals understand the value of handling their money wisely. Instead of seeking societal status, they prioritize financial security. Self-made millionaires concentrate on building businesses, creating useful products and services, and making smart investments. In contrast, those who pretend to be rich focus on flaunting things they bought with borrowed money, which can lead to financial trouble in the long run. Living modestly can be an indicator of true wealth. Appearances can be deceiving, especially when it comes to wealth. Some of the richest people actually choose to live modestly instead of showing off their riches. They know it's essential to spend within their means, or even below, so they can invest and grow their wealth instead of wasting money on things that lose value over time. Even some billionaires like Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and the late Steve Jobs preferred to dress comfortably rather than extravagantly. They understand that being wealthy is more important than looking wealthy. Unlike employees who often have to follow dress codes, the rich can wear whatever they like because they focus on what really matters. Materialism can be a trap that hinders wealth building. In Rich Dad, Poor Dad, the famous author Robert Kiyosaki talks a lot about the problem with materialism. He teaches us that rich people focus on investing in assets, things that make them money. On the other hand, the middle class tends to spend their money on liabilities, things that take money away from them. So, when we collect a lot of material possessions without investing wisely, it can actually hold us back from building wealth instead of helping us get ahead financially. The key is to be smart about where we put our money so it works for us and helps us grow our wealth. Society and media play a significant role in shaping our perception of wealth. Advertisements and popular culture often make luxury look very attractive, making us believe that having lots of fancy things means we're successful. But this is just an illusion. Real wealth is not about showing off with material possessions. It's about having financial independence, stability, and the freedom to do what we want with our money. These important aspects of wealth can't be measured by how many fancy things we own. They are the things that truly matter when it comes to being rich in life. Financial behaviors outweigh outward appearances when it comes to true wealth. Being truly wealthy doesn't depend on wearing expensive clothes or driving fancy cars. It's all about how you handle your money. The key is to save and invest a portion of your income rather than spending it all. Wealthy people know this secret and focus on developing good financial habits. They make investments, create budgets, and plan for their future. These behaviors are what really lead to building wealth and financial success. 
One of the best ways to grow your wealth is to live below your means, which means spending less money than you earn. This strategy is powerful because it enables you to save and invest more of your money, which sets you up for a financially stable future. Living below your means doesn't mean you have to give up the good things in life. It's about being smart with your money, making thoughtful spending choices, and putting your financial goals first. If you let your lifestyle expenses grow faster than your income, you'll end up with financial troubles, even if you earn a high salary. So it's essential to avoid spending more than you make and focus on building a solid financial foundation instead. Being rich isn't the same as looking rich. Having a lot of money and appearing to have a lot of money are not the same. Trying to look rich by showing off and trying to keep up with others who seem wealthy can actually cause financial problems like stress and debt. But being truly rich means having a sense of financial security, stability, and the freedom to live life the way you want to. It's about feeling peaceful and confident in your financial situation. So it's important to focus on building real wealth and not just trying to impress others with our possessions. The advantages of financial peace as a lifestyle choice. Financial peace is a way of living that brings contentment, discipline, and the freedom to manage your money wisely. It comes with many benefits like living without stress, being able to take advantage of financial opportunities, and having the freedom to pursue your true passions. This kind of life leads to more prosperity and fulfillment. People who create their own wealth, the self-made millionaires, value financial peace and freedom more than trying to impress others with their possessions. They understand that real happiness and success come from having control over their finances and living a life that truly matters to them. Building wealth through strategies and mindsets from the experts. To become wealthy, you need to follow the right plans and ways of thinking. This means learning about investing, the power of compounding, where your money grows on its own over time, and having multiple sources of income. But it's not just about the strategies. You also need to change your mindset. Having a wealth-building mindset means focusing on long-term financial success instead of going after quick, material rewards. It's about making smart choices and thinking about the future so you can build and keep your wealth over time. Embracing the looking poor philosophy for greater wealth. Adopting the looking poor mindset doesn't mean rejecting material possessions altogether. It's about recognizing the importance of money and making smart investments. Instead of focusing on seeming wealthy, it's about aiming for financial independence, which is real wealth. By putting financial choices first, and not just caring about how things look, you can build true wealth. This way, you'll experience a lifetime of financial peace and freedom, which is much more fulfilling than just pretending to be rich on the outside. In conclusion, achieving wealth is not about pretending to be rich, but embracing financial intelligence and wise behaviors. True wealth may not always be visible on the outside, so it's crucial to resist consumerism, live modestly within your means, and learn from financial experts. By following the looking poor philosophy, you can break free from societal pressures and media distortions. This approach promotes sustainable wealth creation and leads to a peaceful life without financial stress. Remember, the focus should be on financial substance, not just surface appearance. Real wealth comes from having a positive net worth, not from owning things that lose value over time. So don't be fooled by those who show off expensive cars, watches, or brand names while drowning in debt. Actual wealth is about building a secure financial foundation for a prosperous future. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content I send your way.